Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to our platform shooter part 15. We're on now. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add some basic sound effects, and when I'm creating a pixel art game, kind of how I go about getting my sound effects as well. So first, hop over to uh, www.bfxr.net. Now this is the website that I generally use to create my sound effects when I'm making them. It is very kind of 8-bit sounding, so if you want more realistic sound effects, this isn't going to work for you. But it's a pretty good system. Uh, you can see you can generate sound effects right here, and they're kind of randomized, which is mainly what I do, because all, all of this information right here can be a little bit scary at first. So let's say you want an explosion sound effect, you can click create new sound effect right here and just do explosion. And don't really like that sound effect. I, I don't really like it, but you know, for some games it might be a good explosion. But it's not really for this one, so let's get rid of that. And then uh, this one right here, this hit hurt is actually one that I created earlier. And you can see that's quite a bit better as an explosion. You can lower the volume a bit and you can make it either play on change or not play on change. Let's do a laser shoot sound effect. Don't like that one really. So let's try again. That one's not too bad. Uh, let's get rid of our hit hurt and with this laser shoot sound effect I'm going to... Uh, you can switch what what it is over here. Let's lower the volume just a tad. I like the triangle. The triangle has a cool sound to it, so let's up the volume just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to mess around with these a little. So the frequency is basically how high or low the note is. It's got some sort of a clip at the end of it, it sounds like. Not sure where that comes from. The delta slide must kind of affect how it slides. Let's try creating a new laser. Don't really like that one. Let's try again. I actually like this one, but it's uh, too long. And But I think if we change the sustain time... Actually, no, it's the decay time, I think. And then I'm going to change the frequency. Okay, once you've got a sound that's okay, that you're okay with, you can export as a wave. I'm just going to do it to my desktop right here. I'm call this laser. And then you can open up GameMaker Studio 2 and come to sounds, right click to create sound. I'm going to name this sound A underscore laser. And we'll load the sound right here. You can play it in game. Although I found that sometimes playing it in the game doesn't actually work super well. I'm not sure why. Uh, need to figure out why that is. But you can see it doesn't seem to play the whole sound. Or sorry, in the engine, in the editor right here. But when we come into actually shooting the laser, and let's go into bullet on the create event, we'll do audio, play, sound, and then you pass in the sound ID. There's a lot of audio functions, so you want to be careful because some of them are depreciated. We're not using them anymore. But this will do audio, play, sound, A underscore laser, sound that we want to play. And you can see we've got some other options here. Priority. 
Uh, basically, higher numbers have a higher priority, lower numbers have a lower priority. I usually go for a scale of 1 to 10, and so we'll give this one a priority of 5, about halfway in between. Loops, no, we don't want it to loop. And there we go. Let's actually try running the game and seeing if this sound effect plays. And there you go. Works pretty well. Uh, for the enemy, we might take the exact same sound effect and just lower the frequency a little bit. So we can come into the frequency. Lower it a little bit. Lower the volume just a tad. Export it as a wave. We'll call it enemy laser. Come back into Game Maker Studio 2. Import a sound. I actually don't know how many sounds we can have. Because we're on the trial version. So I'm not sure. And you can see it doesn't quite play the whole sound, but it doesn't matter. We can come into the enemy bullet. And we can say audio play sound enemy laser we'll get a priority of four uh, basically the priority means if you have a lot of sounds playing at one single time uh, you can't s always play all of them so which ones should it prioritize well we definitely want it to prioritize the players lasers over the enemy lasers and now we are gonna have a lot of crazy laser sounds going on here So let's uh, do a hit sound. And I'll just export that. We'll call it hit. And this one sounds like it's a laser, uh, maybe just hitting the wall. If we come into our laser here, you can see we've got hitting the wall, just destroys the bullet. So we'll do. Oh, we gotta load our hit sound. Create. Audio hit. And we'll play this sound when it hits the wall. Where did it go? Oh, right here. And we'll do a lower priority for this one even. We'll do a three. Thing is, most of the time it's not going to need to worry about priority, but just in case put it in both of these and we should get a hit sound when the la laser hits the wall. Now we want a hit sound that sounds more like you're getting, did I accidentally press run again? I did. <laughs> now we want a hit sound that sounds more like you're getting hurt. So you can create a bunch of sounds like that. That one sounds kind of like you're getting hurt. So we'll export this one as hurt. And I'll also provide all of these sound effects as a link in the description if you want to use mine. But I did want to show you kind of creating these sound effects. And I will spend more time on them as well. Uh, these are, I, I've been doing these kind of more quickly. But let's come into here when we get hit by the enemy bullet. I want to create a sound. I don't know how many more sounds we get, so I'm trying to prioritize important ones because we don't get a lot of sounds in the trial version. Okay, there we go. Hurt sound effect when we get hit. Audio, play, sound, hurt. We'll give this one a higher priori priority, like a five as well. False. And then, yeah, let's see how that goes. Then we can should be able to tell if we got hit. And then finally, I think it would be good to 
play when the enemy gets hit by a laser I think we should play the the hit sound and we'll do this a priority of four so I also actually don't really like the enemy laser sound effect I feel like it's too low a little bit, but maybe we'll just quiet it down a little bit. We can change the volume here. See what that's like. And I died. <laughs> maybe we'll do one more sound. We'll do an explosion. That first one that I had was pretty good. Oh, but I think I got rid of it. Oh, that's terrible. That one's pretty loud. Oh, kind of like that one. You can also mix them together. So let's say we have... These two, which sound actually pretty good. We can come into the mixer, and we can select... Oops. We can scroll all the way down, select Explosion 2, and then scroll all the way down, select Explosion 4 and we can mix them together. And it seems like... the one on... I, I'm not sure which one it's prioritized. But combining them like that actually sounds pretty good. We'll export this. Wait. Explosion. Okay. Do we get one more sound? Oh, we get one more sound at least. That looks funny to me. Okay. Now we can say when an enemy dies, even though we don't have an explosion uh, visual effect yet, which is one of the things I want to add here soon, we can still do uh, the explosion sound effect. So let's create, we'll add a destroy event, and then we'll say audio play sound audio explo uh, explosion priority I'm gonna give it a priority of five and then we'll do false on loops let's see how this looks or sounds I guess stuck up there. Ooh. Took a lot of damage there. But anyways, it really helps just to add sound effects like this pretty quick. So I wanted to show you guys how to do it. In the next lecture, we'll probably be adding an explosion. I have to do the artwork for it, and I haven't done that yet. But we'll be adding the explosion for the enemies. And one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, outside of BFXR, bfxr.net, which is a great place to get sound effects, you can also go to opengameart.org. And opengameart.org has a lot of sound effects as well. If you go to browse, sound effects, you can pick some really cool stuff here. They have cool music too. Just make sure that when you're doing this, you pay attention to the licensing on it. Uh, because not all, some of them are public domain. If they're public domain, you can use them how you like, right? I do still recommend giving credit, even if it's public domain, but you can, you don't have to. But some of the other sound effects on here will not be under public domain. They'll be under different licenses. So make sure you read those licenses. If you want to search only public domain, I think it's CC0 right here. Uh, 
I think that's the sound, that's the only public domain. Yeah, CC0. So you can actually search by by the license. So then you only get public domain sound effects just to be safe. But then you do have to make sure and search. So you do sound effects that, and then click search. And then there you go. You've got only public domain sound effects, so you can use those. And you can mix them how you like. I also actually use a software called Audacity when I'm mixing sounds. Just it's pretty, it's free and pretty easy to use. I won't go a lot into that, but that's to get you started with sound effects if you've never done anything before. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, you found it helpful. Uh, if you did, be sure and leave a like. If you're not subscribed yet, then subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later.